John Long, and this is my version of the rolling ball clock. I made it 28 years ago. And I'll give you a brief explanation of how it works so that when things happen, you can understand it. Uh, the, we have a lift that lifts the balls up and releases the ball every minute at the top, kind of the Ferris wheel effect. They come across and they accumulate, like most ball clocks do, in racks. So the, you can tell the time by looking at the balls in the rack. This being the hour, the tens of minutes, and the minutes. So balls are accumulated every minute in the top. As this fills up and tips, it adds a ball to the next one down, and so on down to the hour. This clock also has a feature of striking, so it'll strike the full hour uh, when, that, when it reaches the full hour. There's accumulator section over here that, that keeps track of that. It's separate from the main uh, racks. There's a sensor that comes across and feels for the number of balls that are stored on the back side, which matches the number of hours. Uh, balls actually power this across. It selects the right number of balls. They feed down into a striker. This happens to be a clock out of, a, or a, a bell out of a cash register. The whole thing is made out of uh, phosphorus bronze or grazing rod and it's all silver soldered together. The actual timing comes from a synchronous motor which keeps an accurate turning so that uh, the balls are lifted and released every minute. Right now this is the ninth ball coming across. It'll be, you'll see it come across here. The tenth ball will tip this. So we're just about a minute away from striking this, you'll see this dump, the extra balls will come across and try and restore balls in this, this reservoir. The one on the back side will come down below and tip this one, which was the tens of minutes. When that tips, it adds one more to this accumulator. These four balls come across, you'll see them cycle here. Individually, they'll come here, this will tip. Four balls will head across and actually power the striker selector. One ball on the backside will add to this accumulator on the backside for striking.